on our solar system, we have these uh, rocky planets closer to the sun and the gaseous ones further away and larger. Is that a pattern that you see over and over again? Or is that unique? Yeah. It's a pattern we think we should see uh, mm. because we think the reason you have this very clear divide is that close to the sun, this dust was just like rock, like silicate. Yeah. And that's actually not that easy to stick together. Uh, once you get a little bit further away from the sun, it gets cold enough that this uh, dust has water ice on it. And you can start building up bigger sort of planet cores more quickly that can then accrete gas and form these giant, okay. giant planets. So we should see it uh, at other places. Um, we are maybe <laughs> seeing that when we are starting to really be able to gather the data to detect Jupiter and Saturn-like planets at the distances that they are at, but we don't have that much data yet. Uh, but the big surprise is that many planets from other stars, so-called exoplanets, uh, that are close in, actually don't look exactly like the Earth. Many of them look like tiny versions of Neptune oh, instead. Okay, interesting. Um, we're trying to figure out why that is. There are some good theories. Uh, so we don't always see sort of replicas of the solar system. Uh, but sometimes we do also see the Earth-like planets uh, that are sitting close to their star. So it's not like we're unique. Like I guess we're somewhere, somewhere in between being the sort of okay, most common yeah. outcome and being completely special.